In this video, you're going to learn about sonar and how it helps us locate hidden objects. You may have heard of the story of the Titanic, or even may have seen the Hollywood films which portray the tragic event of April 1912. It took a long time to locate the wreck, only in 1985. But how did we find out how deep it was under the surface of the Atlantic Ocean? For many years, since 1906 in fact, we have used the technology of sonar to detect objects that are submerged in water. Sonar emits sound waves and uses their echo as they reflect off a submerged object to find and determine the depth of an object, which is invisible from the surface. The surface ship sends out a sonar pulse, a sound wave into the water. It travels away from the ship until it is reflected by an object in the water. The sound wave reflection, or echo, travels back up through the water and is detected by the ship. As we know the speed of sound in water, which is about 1500 meters per second, then the time lapse between signal transmission and echo reception can be used to calculate the distance the sonar wave traveled. We then divide this answer by two. You are probably wondering why. That's because the first answer gives us the distance between the sender and the shipwreck, and then back to the boat. We only wish to know half this distance between the sender and the boat. If a ship above the Titanic uses sonar to detect the wreck and records a time lapse of five seconds, how deep is it? Pause the video while you work it out. Did you get 3,750 meters or 3.75 kilometers? Sonar can be quite sophisticated. Fishing boats use it not only to find fish, but can also tell the type or size of fish. To summarize, you have seen how we can use sound waves in water and their echo to work out the distance something is beneath the surface. This sonar can find shipwrecks or shoals of fish. 